Welcome to DIY Explorer. I'm Dave, your host. This very first episode, we're going to go into the basics of the basics, which is creating your own workspace, starting out with a homemade sawhorse. It's a lot easier to make one than you think. You could go out and buy one, and it costs you between $18 and $160 per sawhorse. But in this episode, we are going to learn how to do it for free with reclaimed wood and a couple of dollars for some screws. And hopefully, you have some tools. I'm going to work with what I've got, so let's dig in. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, one of the things about DIY is saving money, and one of the best ways to save money is actually find reclaimed wood. Best place for reclaimed wood is at a construction site. Now the key thing to this is, is that you have to ask for permission from the homeowner to go digging in their dumpster. Which is what we're going to do in a few minutes. But the benefit to that is the wood doesn't go into the landfill. We get a whole bunch of wood that somebody else doesn't want and we're going to make some cool stuff with that free wood from the dumpster. I'd say that's a good dumpster dive we did today. My car is full of lumber, scrap wood. It's not gonna go to the dump. We're gonna use it for projects back at the house. First thing is possibly our sawhorses so we have a nice table area to work with. So let's go. Now that I've got all my wood measured and marked, I gotta do two other things, which is cut it. But first, before I cut it, I need to make sure all the nails have out of it. Because when we went diving in that dumpster, all that wood had a lot of nails in it. A lot of my markings are designed to actually just cut those bad pieces off. Uh, other times I've got nails like that that you're gonna have to do. So first thing I'm gonna do is take the nails out that I need to, and the next thing I am to cut. So you can use a circular saw, you can use a chop saw. Um, the only tool that I actually have is a jigsaw. And again, this is a DIY with what you have. So this is what I have and this is what we're gonna use. All right, so now we got all of our wood cut. Uh, I've laid it out on the ground to kind of where every piece goes. So the tool that we're gonna be using going forward is I'm just going to have a standard framing square so everything is nice and square. I'm going to use some clamps to hold some pieces in place while I glue and, and screw them in. Uh, wood glue, of course, that's DIYer's favorite. And then we're going to use some uh, number 10 by 3 inch Power Pro uh, multi-purpose screws. These are about 10 bucks for, for a box. Uh, the thing that I like the most about these is that they're multi-material. So they'll do wood, masonry, metal, drywall, and plastic. So I didn't need a whole lot of screws for this project, So, but now I've got screws for almost any other project coming up forward.
So here's our finished saw horses. They may not be perfect, but they'll do the job. Cost of wood, zero because we went dumpster diving with permission. Cost of screws was about $20. We have plenty left over for next time. And uh, hope you liked the video. Hit the like button below, hit subscribe. Leave a comment or a picture if you followed this video and made your very own. And we'll see you next time.